Civic Forum on Human Development in partnership with the Association of Rural District Councils of Zimbabwe and Center for Community Development Solutions implemented a project titled Strengthening Social Accountability in Local Governance Systems of Zimbabwe. The idea for this initiative was developed during a national reflection workshop that the CFHD conducted with its partners and stakeholders on the ended EU funded project in rural areas of Zimbabwe. Uh, we started working in rural areas in 2010 after we got some demand from the Association of Rural District Councils. So we started our work on participatory local governance and local economic development then. Uh, and it has since we made after that project that we needed a project that focus a bit more on social accountability to try and enhance the performance of uh, local authority services, particularly its interaction with various stakeholders, its interaction with community-based organizations and other civil society organizations, which were felt to be weak in the first phase of programming that we did. I would also want to acknowledge the role played by EU because they are the ones who supported our initial work in rural areas, uh, strengthening mechanism for citizen participation and uh, improved local governance. So after the first phase, we actually designed another phase again, uh, which the EU uh, kindly supported, which just finished in June 2019. So the key focus in this project has been to improve uh, the supply demand side interaction, particularly through emphasizing issues on strategic planning, uh, performance management, oversight, because these are some of the issues that have caused a deterioration in delivery of services. Local authorities and um, Toko Aradis in particular did not have problems in, in embracing the program and it has been running for the past three years successfully. So they have been able to capacity build local government structures that include the feed costs. So feed costs and what costs, they have been able to receive some support in terms of training how they're supposed to do their planning. Takatanga was this one to Tungami, Waitangira Pa village level. Cheap upper village level. Ties end up a word, tap a word. Toes end up quite changami. Matam books go a loosus. At Tangi end up on so Tata Shika Taba Pass. Saka Passipata Tangira, no pa village level. Teaching at a Kundika number village level. No pata is a simuka. Twitchenda. What level? No, I changa me. What is the passes when you are thinking that it is important. Because I tell you, I am not going to be a good person. I am 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 going to be a good person. Right, Zataka it at town out, Massi Bios, Ayako, Nagarariko, and I'm kind of Zia Zeva. As Papa Snaku Zizana, Pacati Pecans Red. Namasi BOs aya pakata some training yokuti kanzuru namasi BOs ne committee zvekuti vane pabani vazivane vago vavanokwanisa kushanda pamwe chete vachizivana kuti ava vanoita chakati haone chakati kubudikidza nenyaya kuti va register ku local authority vasina ku register when we exist, I go, Maruai go. But it's a new year, but my constitution is one of my CBOs, Anga Sina. Saka putti can't read delay never knows, never constitutes, I need a Pacuti Pacatica, Mosa Canada, the Gornetica, Kuzo, Kurkurana, the Repam Temo, so I think that is really legally binding there, there's on Nessa. Saka Taka Tenderera, the Buddhist and the training at a Titan and a civic forum. Tika. 
Vaonesa, ma si bios, pese pese, so good because you know Iowa, Baba now ma constitution, Baba now ma registration yakazo, itikaku, local authority, do, eh, where's the RDC? People were operating illegally, but canceled the plans. And the people wanted space, they wanted services, like toilets, places that are serviced and they've engaged the council and also complained with the council and the council also to tell them that they need also to operate within is by bylaws. I was able to get a lot of people who were able to communities and they were able to get the development and they were able to get the program and they were able to get the background and they were able to get the community those in the council and those in the woman. And the Munafan will participate. Kuvani Chimichu is a money saw Mugadme made home in the week. Kana could was eating. Karangana would taste no farm of Kanyan's dinner. Mushanemusha. Send up clinic. For the past, otherwise, the three or four days, the chins in shower. What the Amagorim buys in a clinic? As today, who won us as I. Papa Nema. My ma projects akatanga kubuda kuvakuwa A good example ndiwa na chema tendere clinic is na na chine clinic zawa zaka zovuda kuvakuwa nwaka recommenda vega kuti tino da chakati tino da chakati tino da kula zawa kuti training iya taka ita iya yaka shanda ende ino yaka yaka ita kutiwa nwa sibe so service ya bano fala kuitiro muma rua mavari. Chaka there is increased evidence based dialogue between supply which is government and demand side which are the citizens for improved service delivery evidence is that people are beginning to appreciate that they need to be working together with council so that both sides uh, benefit from the system. The evidence that we have is we have stakeholders like the SMEs who have been actually elusive uh, in the past, but now they're able to come up, up and say, We are here. How can you assist us and what do you want us to do? So we have been having that engagement happening between various stakeholders. And we have had a very, very, very healthy uh, situation whereby. Everyone can speak out his, his, his mind and air out uh, his expectations and maybe even challenges and then come together and say this is how we want things done. So decisions are made in consultation with each other. If you go to the rural areas, you see people have been put their different priorities. Some they want issues in health, because they want access to healthy. You are seeing clinics being built with the assistance of council. Some they are in water harvesting, in which they want sustainable agriculture and smart agriculture. They are also investing in, in waterways, because that's where the basis of their livelihood is an agriculture-based district. People, they have different livelihoods, and they have different demands that they have put to council depending with the context in that world. So you can see various uh, things coming into play. And we also have some words where children are walking very long distance to school. 
access to education. You are seeing council building new schools, which means council is responding to the demands of the, 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 the citizens. Us as council, we appreciate that. Besides offering uh, human capital, they are also contributing towards the raw materials like the bricks that we use to construct such structures. They also contribute to the mobilization of things like the quarry stone, carrying of the river sand, pit sand, gravel, extra, etc. etc. Those materials actually when these communities do not provide that free labor, it would cost a lot of money from our council side because we, would, we have to hire casual laborers. Currently, considering the rates that are at the market, it will end up bleeding council resources. Council money will be lost through paying labor, which is now being supplied by communities free of charge. <laughs> And we did that through civil, civil forum. It was to one day, only a day, a Monday. Then it was a Friday, which was two days there. Papa, and the king, Pashon, Azitura, 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 Fatvin, and Zara, and Azitura. Saka, Zaka, it was a Maka, one of the things which Farida. A civic forum. In India, and the Pamu, we could to batter the Maoko. We have to batter Makarunga, a city, which no end. Now with the coming in of civic forum, Chugona Kuti, my councillors now understand the need to end up at grassroots level. Interrogate one, be it my video, my word, then come up with what my projects. And will focus on my needs, a community, my three plus two. I can ask you, I'm a good one. I'm going to have a good one. I'm going to have annual plans, a council. I'm going to have a budget, a council. I'm going to have implement. Implement it. So I think project yaka address my my needs. Engari pay engi arumu district. Menge musina trust. Vanu achingo funga na sirizo. You know. But then pasuka zoya is chukwa na kuche. At least now people can sit and engage and come up with my productive uh, um, meetings. Unlike kuda. Tanga tiba na kanga basi ngadi kana kupadra. So kunzi mutero kana kutichi. Tighted no badaram tear away, Isustaka Garapan Zubuzebu. Astaka did this for good Isusu, through Garapa Marisev, Marisevd areas. Reserved area, I see in Zimboyang, we need and not in Zimboyang. In Zimboye is saved. Sagada even program Ikawiapa reserved area. Takanga Tisinga, I took for Miss Gukuram Biragana Pupo Kanana, so Neguta is in Zimboye. Sagafano to program Yawia Munjim. Dot ah, in any moon than the Wangu and did now. Taira mbaya vini marodi, chai wa ya kuti marodi, abe ashitora munda wang, tayi jiram, asubu tuzane zinzo, taka siva kuti, ndiri pa reserved area, ndofa na kuti kana iri program ya uwe ya shida kutoa vini munda wangu kana chini, shi se shi ndai fanonge ni chini shumfan, saka shi tayi shi shumfan buta nuko saka tayi shi shumfan zite bad dare mutero, mutero watimo bad, rongo kwa usro kuti, mutero wakuri pa kuti ndiri pa njumbo yangu na ndiri bad dare munda wangu. Mutero wa kutu kukara pa reserved area. Saka mutero wa ya wapis kwa waizenda wa cancel. Waenda wa cancel. Ndoko wa saenza kutu ma project ya anu zoenda na cancel ya ikoko. Ainda ikoko ndo maria hizo zoka. Ino zo zoka kwa ati. Ino batila fiti isusu muwanti. Yozo ya yotisi mzama project ya di muwanti. Saka yuzo takamba atisi nga asiri. Asine kuziza. Takasi wa shi seisho. We have some female leaders. For example, female counselors, they also work with the mother support groups in the communities that we have. It has really improved the buy-in of the other stakeholders since they'll be representing women, telling them their issues. So in council meetings, really there'll be a buy-in of what the, the concerns of women are. Washiti muad tino damu anano mirira asiri cancel ashinozwa shinotoa wa ma programs eku 
kansio paka buda munhu ndofu nga ndinda ka buda veka ndakatorwa pekare ndikaenda eh pano pachita ma meetings ava vanoita ndainge ndiri motichidzidziswa if my projects atataura kuti pa word penyu munda kuitei tikaopa ma projects edu ti clinic ma blocks chi zvese asi zvinhu zvekuti akanga takato takasarudzwa pa word onzi chenda unonzwa izvi se zvakabva nekubudikidza nekunge tadzidziswa ne program yai uya muno the projects which have been started by council uh the, the small wheels for, for for irrigation uh, we also have, have got a, a, a clinics which council is building and uh, these clinics mostly will save women and children and also we uh, about schools which are being built uh, coming from these projects three plus two projects and these projects are saving our, our, our communities and we also have with small small gardens uh, uh, to boost our, our, our nutrition and uh, then we have the wooden sanitation rural water wooden sanitation to uh, shorten the distance traveled by women in, in feeding water <laughs> Civic Forum. The, the 3 plus 2 approach is one that opened a lot of people's eyes because you know in most cases when people plan they, they plan and forget about women and they forget about youth and now when you would go into the community and we are, we are dealing with uh, priorities coming up with priorities you would know somewhere along the way you had to think about them you would have then women speaking for themselves for example, when we're, when we're making clinics, you know, there's something that we've always overlooked, issues to do with maternal health, issues to do with um, menstruational issues. So you the women talking about those things. Through So in Horowe district, um, after the identification of the three plus two, they actually sat down as stakeholders and the CBOs and realized that you know, the, the 3 plus 2 approach is not enough. It needs to cater the needs of the other vulnerable groups like the OVCs, the elderly. So they modified uh, the, uh, the approach and, and it's now the 4 plus 2 approach whereby they said 4 priorities for the marginalized groups then 2 priorities for the general communities. So on the 4 priorities these the priorities for the elderly, the priorities of the OVCs this is the priorities of the youth and the priorities of the women and we have seen that all this all, all these priorities have been included into the budgeting processes into their strategic plans and also it is worth it to note that all these plans that have been generated have been also included into the into the district strategic plan which actually uh, we can say it's a successful story or it can be more sustainable whereby the five the strategic plan it takes a period of five or five years so imagine those five years people will be implementing all those priorities and that's a, that we can say it's an anchor of of, of, of of the social accountability project beneficiaries of this project included local authorities district action team that civil society organizations CSOs community-based organizations CBOs and communities at large. Ni chokuti kana mshiwira na mshita urana. Chino lasta. Papa wakuzi watu kansu unjedu. Tufana kubatera mtiru ya. 
tufana ku ti ma projects tofana ku apatisu kana tisina ku evaluate ma projects edu kanzo ra igoni ku ma evaluate all those things now zvaita kuti zvichi vambika zvive zvino zvine vano mukati kanzo zvayongoita zvongo uya ichingo supervisor ichingo tenderera iwo vanhu vakatotungamira nechekare vavhurika vanhu vedu fungwa inine ndinoona sekuti program inoenderera mberi chero we civic forum wakanga vachiti havasisipo havachauya kuno nekuti sezvo zvizvi tinoona kuti chero ave civic forum wakanga vasipo vabereka kwakwanisa kugadzira marods ekuti pa imwe ne imwe ne imwe musha ukwanisa kuti road inosvika pamusha iyo yenga isipo saka ikati zvino ndikuona kuti tatinyatsovhurika zvekuti chero vakaenda takukwanisa kuziva kana kodzero dzedu kuti isusu tinokodzera dze kuzvigadzirira zvinhu zvedu kuti ndekuti ndiso tiri ku benefit pamusoro pezvinhu izvozvo civic forum vakati betsera kuti tive ni women action center ino consist of six villages kuno msanyatsi ma villages acho madzimai ese imomo anokwanisa kuya pana apa tine garden redu ratinaro ravari kuita each village inenge ine part yayo yairi kuita saka madzimai ari kutengesa muri wo ma communities vana vavo vakwanisa kuenda chikoro ivo vakwanisa kufita muri dzavo and also tine huku tona rakati po huku saka apa takatomirira kuti teta kuti tsvago market linkages in towns kuti tikwanisa kutengesa huku dzedo ita higher price strengthening social accountability in rural local governance systems of zimbabwe as a project was implemented in mashonaland west in areas such as nyaminyami urongwe and sanyati and also in mashonaland east mutoko wedza and mudzi uh, in terms of collaboration approach, uh, we were really working with six districts, three in Marsh East and three in Mashonaland and West. But the key approach obviously is the social accountability approach that has been used regionally, particularly in tracking uh, performance, uh, resource planning and utilization, uh, as well as accountability at the local level. We fused this with the, an approach called community-based planning. And this is an approach that allows diverse range of uh, civil society and community-based organizations to actually uh, express their needs, their demands, their priorities at a localized level. Now, this is a first in, in Zimbabwean local authorities where a local plan can guide investment by other stakeholders. For us, that is actually what we want to see in terms of social accountability, the voice of communities shaping the way resources are done by the local authorities, by government and by other stakeholders. So after the end of this project, we are actually thinking of uh, scaling up the, the whole program uh, across uh, the provinces, but also including new province like Mashanwa and Central, which is very critical to the adoption of community-based social accountability approaches in the country. The project managed to facilitate the development of 65 wide-based plans in the six, in the three districts. And as a result of these 65 wards, 65 wide plans, um, each district also went further to make priorities at wide level. It is managed to create a culture of political tolerance, dialogue, consensus building, and also to embed the element of human-centered development in the approach of um, self-delivery. In the past, it was very difficult for people from the different political, religious, divine to work together. But now you cannot say that. You cannot even know that someone be, that X belongs to this church or Y belongs to that political party. Because when it comes to development, it's inclusive and it cuts across and it does not even recognize politics or religion. Uh, we also want to play a key role in the devolution process. We know government priorities around devolution. But at the moment, there's no talking about how devolution will be achieved. So we believed that this EU-funded program has laid the groundwork that can actually influence the whole devolution process in Zimbabwe. Finally, 
uh, we've also been receiving demands from the urban local authorities. Uh, but we want to continue with our corridor model so that we start working with urban areas that are within the spheres of influence of the rural local authorities that we have worked with. When we do it like this, we want to promote peer-to-peer -peer learning so that they can learn about these approaches jointly and begin to spread these approaches at national level.